Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Now, oh, just a minute now, Lou. Lou, we're not on yet. Oh, hello there, Mr. Randall. Oh, Johnny, how are you feeling tonight? Fit as a fiddle, Mr. Randall. No ill effects from this afternoon's experience? Meeting your son, I mean? Indeed, no. The more I've thought about it, the more I realize how lucky I was to talk with my own flesh and blood and find what a really fine young man he is. Yeah, it certainly is unusual for a father to speak to his son as a stranger and to find out how to conduct himself. My only regret is that I can't meet the girl he's going to marry. I wish I could persuade you to go to your son and tell him what you're doing. Never. Why, it would break his heart. He knows how I feel about the theater and the great works of the immortal Shakespeare. Yeah, I know. Well, we all have to work out our own problems. And that's why I feel so grateful to you for allowing me to cut my Shakespearean act yesterday afternoon when he attended the performance. Mm, you, uh, you're sure he would have recognized you? I'm certain of it. Why, he could not have failed to have recognized my voice in those lines that he had heard me speak since he was a child. Well... It looks like it's about time for you to go on, Johnny. Yes, yes, in just a moment. Uh, one word. Please note well, Mr. Randall, Dick's fiancée at the party tonight, uh, so you can tell me about her tomorrow. You can count on me to give you a detailed account of your son's party tonight, oh, Johnny. Thank you. Well, I must go now. Come, Lulu, come. Mr. Randall, Mr. Randall. Uh, oh, yes, Jerry? Bumps asked me to tell you that we'll all meet after the show at the front entrance. Good, I'll be there. Mr. Grayson said he'd bring his car and pick us all up. Oh, that's fine. Kind of excited? I'll say so. <laughs> a real party. Well, who wouldn't be? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it myself. Who are you watching? Uh, Bradley. Oh, yeah. I always try to watch his act, too, while I'm free. After all, I'm his understudy, and I guess I better keep my eyes peeled. Yeah, <laughs> get your head. So if, you're, if you're never going to be around when an emergency arises, I, I don't know what good you're going to be. Oh, gee, Mr. Randall. You know how bad I felt about that. Well, don't worry, Jerry. It wasn't your fault. After all, you were working for Whitey. Yeah, I guess I can't be in two places at once, huh? <laughs> I haven't found a way of doing it yet. Say, look. And where? Over there by the band. Yeah, yeah. What about it? Isn't that Mr. Grayson? Where? Oh, no, it couldn't be. He wasn't planning to come tonight, was he? No, I, I thought he said they'd be busy fixing the spaghetti. Well, it can't be, Grayson. It mustn't be. Why? What difference does it make? Oh, it'd be terrible on account of Johnny. My eyes aren't so good. Look carefully, Jerry, and be sure. Yeah, he just turned this way. See, he's talking to that pretty girl on this side of him. Are you sure it's Grayson? Of course I am. Oh, that's terrible. Where's Johnny now? He's on the other side of the ring. See, he's just starting the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet. Oh, it's a shame that band's so loud we can't hear him. Uh, let's think quickly. See? This is where the duck interrupts him. <laughs> Golly, it's funny the way he kicks that duck out of the way and, and then goes into the line. Party is such sweet sorrow. And then the duck goes, quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Golly, they sure like it. What in the world can I do? What do you say? Hey, Mr. Randall, you're, you're not paying any attention. Uh, Jerry, I've got to stop Johnny from getting around in the ring and, and playing any of that Shakespeare on the side where Grayson is. 
Why? What's the matter? He's good. Well, gee, Mr. Grayson... Jerry, like I'm going to have to tell you something that's a secret and terribly important. Why, sure, Mr. Randall. Now, listen carefully. We'll have to act fast. Sure, you can count on me. John Bradley isn't just a clown. He's a famous old Shakespearean actor. No. His real name is John Bradley Grayson. Mr. Randall. He's the father of our young lawyer friend, Mr. Grayson. But, well, then why... Well, I haven't time to explain now, but it... It'll break Bradley's heart if his son finds out he's there. But what can we do? Uh, you see that entrance on the other side of the band? Sure. The one, the one... Uh, J... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you run over there just as fast as you can. When Johnny comes past there, you get his attention some way or other and, and make him come off. Well, I'll try, Mr. Randall. Of course, you, you mustn't get off where people can see you. Well, I'll call Lulu, and, and if she comes, perhaps Mr. Bradley will come after her and see me. That's a good idea. Now, <clears throat> run around quick and, and see if you can keep Johnny from doing his act on the side of the tent where Grayson is. Carly, I'll do my best, Mr. Randall. Having a good time, Sally? I sure am, Dick. Glad we got all that spaghetti ready early so we could catch the show? I certainly am. It's lots more fun meeting people when you've seen their acts and can tell them how much you enjoyed it. I know. That's why I insisted on our getting right to work on that food. You're a darling at helping. Going to always be like that, even after we're married? Uh, what do you think? Isn't that just like a lawyer? <laughs> Not admitting a thing, hmm? <laughs> Well, if, if I don't make any promises, I can't be sued for breaking them. <laughs> You're a darling. Oh, here comes that nice clown I was telling you about. Where? The one with the duck. Oh, yes, I see can't hear him yet. He must be funny. See the crowds howling over there where he's talking? The duck must have something to do with it. He keeps interrupting the clown. Yeah, he's certainly trying to be dignified. <laughs> but that duck just won't let him. As soon as he gets on this side of the band, we'll hear him. The music's too loud for his voice to carry over here. That's funny. Look. Where? The duck. He's not following the clown anymore. That's right. Looks like he's headed for the exit way there on the other side of the band. But Johnny Bradley hasn't missed him yet. Maybe that's part of the act. Seems funny. They don't usually let their animals wander off like that alone. Here he comes. Oh, look, he's going to stop up there. I hope we can hear him from here. I think we can. The band stopped. What's that he's saying? Sounds like... Uh... To be or not to be, that is the question. It's from Hamlet. Why, I... I, I... look to you now how unworthy a thing you make of me. That's Hamlet in the scene with the players. You seem to know my step. You would pluck out the heart of my mystery. You would sound me from my lord's throat. To the top of my compass. It can't be. Silly. God loves you. Do you think I'm easier to be played than on a pipe? I can't believe it. There's the duck. Look, someone pushed him back into the ring. Call me what instrument you will. You cannot play upon me. Out! Mad duck! Out of my sight! <laughs> Look at him run from that duck. Did you ever see anything so silly? It can't be true. <laughs> that poor old clown trying so hard to be serious. Why, why, Dick, what's the matter? Nothing. I I just had a shock, that's all. What is it? What's happened? You know that clown? Yes, you told me about him. He's really awfully clever, isn't he? I wonder how he ever trained that duck. Sally, that clown is my father. What are you talking about? He's my father. Don't be silly, dear. I'd know him anywhere. His voice reading those lines. My father, I can't believe it. But, Dick, dear, you said you talked to him this afternoon. I yourself. did. Well, how did. could you have talked to your own father and not have recognized him? Oh, he had on that ridiculous clown face. But his voice, certainly you would have known it. He probably changed his voice just enough. After all, he was the last person in the world I expected to see. But why wouldn't he talk to you or come to the party tonight? I can't figure it out. I've got to see him. It just doesn't make sense. Where are you going, Dick? To find my father and find out what this is all about. Wait a minute. I'll come along. All, all right, Sally. Attention in ring number three. The clever, highly trained balancing seal in a performance demonstrating unexcelled equilibrium. Introducing Ray Walton and his seal. We'll go out this way. The exit on the other side of the band, Sally. Do you think he doesn't want you to know he's here? I'm certainly going to find that out. Oh, hello, Jerry. What are you doing here? Well, I, I just... I, I want you to meet Miss Gray. Gee, I'm sure glad to meet you, Miss Gray. Mr. Grayson certainly seems to think you're pretty nice. Mm, it's a secret, Jerry, but he's really in love with my cooking, not me. Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> it's the truth, Jerry. I'm just lucky. She's got good looks and a nice disposition, too. Sort of thrown in extra, what? Jerry, uh, will you entertain Sally a few minutes? I've got to go back and see my... I mean, I've got to... You uh... mean you've got to see Mr. Bradley? Yeah. How did you know? I was afraid of that. What do you mean? Well, I hardly know what to say. 
But you mustn't see him. Why not? Well, you mustn't see him. Ha, huh, don't be silly. I've got to see him. Please, you mustn't. Really, it, it's important. Listen, Jerry. That man is my father. Of course I've got to see him. Oh, so you know. Yes. Say, what do you mean? Did you know he was my father? Not until just a few minutes ago. Dick, it really is your dad after all. Jerry, what is all this about? Well, I, I really shouldn't say anything, but as long as you know... Well, please, Mr. Grayson, don't go see him. Why on earth shouldn't I? My, my own father. Well, you know, he, he's not awfully strong. What? Oh, it's nothing to worry about, but his heart is... Well, it's not as strong as it should be. And... But what has all this to do with... Well, he'd just die if he thought you'd seen him as a clown. So that's it. Yeah. You see, he saw you in the audience the other afternoon. I think that's the reason Mr. Randall didn't make him do that Shakespearean turn. And... That's right. He didn't do it at the matinee. Well, tonight Mr. Randall tried to have me catch him before he could do his act in front of you. He said it would be awful if you recognized but, him. But, but look... So I came over and called Lulu. But Mr. Bradley didn't hear me. Dick. Yes, dear? If you talk to your dad this afternoon and he didn't tell you who he was and he refused to come to your party tonight... I can't understand it. So that's why he acted so funny when I told him I was engaged to be married. That's right. He did seem kind of surprised. No wonder. He couldn't have gotten my letter yet, telling him all about it. Don't you see, dear, if he didn't tell you himself who he was, he must have had some good reason. Probably too proud. He's been pretending to me he's earning a good living in New York. Poor darling. Oh, don't you see, Mr. Grayson? After all the pretending he's done, he'd, he'd feel pretty awful to think you'd found out about it after all. That's true, Dick. Jerry. Jerry. Uh, here we are, Mr. Randall. Oh, Mr. Dark, I couldn't see you. So, you didn't have any luck, huh? I'm sorry. I, I tried off. Good evening, Mr. Randall. Hello. Oh, I, Mr. Grayson. And the girl I was telling you about, Sally Gray. I'm certainly glad to meet you, Miss Gray. Well, Grayson, what, <laughs> what are you doing around here tonight? <laughs> thought you were giving a party. I am, but I thought Sally should see the show, too. So he helped me with my homework, and here we are. Mr. Randall, uh, I've got to talk to you about my father. Your father. You recognize him. I, I just couldn't get Mr. Bradley's attention. I, I sure tried. It's awful to be so close to your father, especially after not having seen him for so long and not be able to go to him. I know. I'll tell you, Grayson, your dad sets an awful lot of store on the fact that you think he's still a successful actor on the stage in New York. I'm afraid it would break his heart. Come on, Dick. We'll have this spaghetti party tonight. Yes, yes, and, and I'll tell your dad all about it tomorrow. Golly, imagine. Your own dad. You both know the other is here. You both want to see each other. But you can't. Golly, that, that's awful. 